Hi, welcome to Splitting Atom. This is part two of my series on real-time data monitoring and visualization in the home lab. In part one, we set up our database, we started pulling in some data, and then we started to do some sexy visualization goodness with Grafana. Today, we're going to focus more on Telegraph. So when on part one, when I, when I, uh, I, I kind of glossed over Telegraph, and I figure I need to give it some love here because it's really what makes pulling telemetry off other systems super easy. So for today's uh, demonstration, what I've done is uh, I've created another Git, uh, repo in, uh, in my GitHub. And this one's called Telegraph VM, Metric, VM Metrics. And what we're going to do today is we're going to connect up uh, a bunch of virtual machines up to uh, using Telegraph, have them stream their telemetry data over to uh, InfluxDB. And uh, it's, it's really pretty simple to, to put this together. Um, all we're going to have is a Docker Compose and then a Telegraph configuration file. And that configuration file is really the secret to Telegraph and um, it, it, it's a good thing to dig into. So looking at the, this is the, uh, from, a, um, from the master repo for Telegraph. This is kind of the master uh, uh, configuration file that's out there. And as I look at it, that configuration file has every different option that's available there. So the big deal there is you've got some agent, uh, agent parameters you can set. Um, but the things you really want to focus on are the output plugins and the input plugins. The output plugins are where you're going to take all that data you're gathering and send it to. So in this case, we're using it and gathering this data and sending it to uh, InfluxDB, but they have multiple output plugins you could use here. Uh, on the input side, um, they've got a whole series of input plugins, uh, anywhere from uh, pulling things, pulling data from some of the cloud services that are out there at AWS and Azure, to on a normal machine being able, or a normal uh, uh, server, just being able to pull all the internal tele uh, telemetry off that server around CPU and disk usage, even how much uh, space has been used in different uh, uh, directories and mounts on it. So to do this today, and and I've uh, to do this, what we're gonna uh, I've got a VM out there. Um, rather than use, as I told you on the previous video, rather than use. Uh, uh, you know, a terminal to go and connect in. I'm going to actually do my terminal through VS Code because uh, I think it kind of gives me a little more elegant way to work with it uh, and to be able to show some things when I want to look at this configuration file. So the first thing I need to do here is we're going to do a git clone and we're going to actually clone the uh, that repo that I showed you just a minute ago. So let me grab that and I'm going to paste that in here. So it's jumped out there, it's grabbed all those files, and now I've got, um, oh, not ls, let's do a cd. So we're going to jump into that directory and see what's there. And we can see that we've got those three files I showed you in the repo before. So let's go, and what we need to do is we need to actually edit the, configura the telegraph uh, configuration. So let me go jump up into the editor for that. Um, and so this is that, I showed you that master file a few minutes ago uh, from the, the Influx is posted for Telegraph. What I've done is I've, I've cut it down to just the things I'm going to use today. So from an agent perspective, uh, all I've got to do is go in here and give it a hosting. I put some parameters of how often I want to send the data across, um, you know, some, some, uh, some other bits there. But the big thing for me is, I need to give this a name so that it knows how to store it out at Influx. So I'm going to be uncreative and I'm going to call this server two or server one. And then the other bit that I've got to do is I've got to get the URL for Influx DB. And, I, and so to grab that, let me go get the IP address for that server. And that's actually my monitoring server here. Let me grab that IP. All right, so here we're gonna put HTTP. 
Okay, um, so all I did is I put HTTP, the IP address, and then you gotta make sure you put whatever the port is for InfluxDB. The standard port would be 8086. If you changed it, you need to change it, you know, whatever it is. I'm using 8086. Uh, the other big thing is where we're gonna store this data. So for this particular plugin for the visualization I'm looking at, I created a database called Virtual Machines. Telegraph's pretty cool is it'll go and if that database hasn't been created yet, it will go ahead and create that at InfluxDB when it makes a connection. I'm not worrying about a username and password because I'm all deep in, you know, I, I'm, I'm in my home lab and it's kind of locked away, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, the other bit that I wanna show you are the inputs. So these are the things that it's gonna go and gather from the, the virtual machine uh, that it's running on. So it's pulling things like, like uh, telemetry around the CPU. And I, I can put in some parameters that'll start to kind of expand what it looks at or not look at different things, uh, especially like here around the disk. Um, it's pulling information around all the disks that are connected to this VM but it's going to ignore the file systems around temp and dev and uh, uh, and those things. And then it's also pulling I.O. and memory and system information, network information, things going on with the kernel. So we've got all that. We've made the changes that we need to make into this. And you can, you know, you can use this repo too for yourself when you start doing this in your home lab. So what I want to do now is I want to go save this. And then once I've got it saved, all I have to do to deploy this is to go and do the, 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 the Docker stuff here. So I'm going to do Docker. Oh, did it in the wrong place. Okay. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to say Docker dash compose up and then the dash D so I can run in detach mode. And so just like I showed you on part one, um, Docker Compose is going out and grabbing that container and, and uh, the, the container build file, and it's building that container and then deploying it. So now it's out there running. So what we can do is now we can go, we know that data is going into Influx. So now what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna go out and build a dashboard or grab, you know, import a dashboard for that. So in the, uh, in the GitHub repo, I've got the instructions, and then down here, I've got the ID for the uh, dashboard I want to use. So we're going to go grab that. And so we'll go, what I did is here, I'm going uh, within uh, Grafana, I'm going dashboards manage. That got me to this screen. I'm going to click import. I put the ID for it, I hit load. And so it's gonna it's going and grabbing that. So I showed you yesterday, Grafana's got a great place for for users to post community dashboards. So I found somebody that used the same Telegraph spec for the the inputs, and so I'm gonna use theirs. And so I'm just gonna change this the name of this to Virtual Machines. And uh, down here, I'm gonna select, I'm gonna do the virtual machine data source and click import. And so there we go. So we're already pulling that data in. I've had this running for a while, so I can show you one of my other servers, uh, server two that's out there. And I can see some information about server two and its CPU usage and things like that. And even getting down to the disk usage and, and, and those things. So, so hopefully that kind of gives you a quick look at what more you can do with Telegraph. I'm going to do some future uh, videos where we look at using Telegraph to pull some other things uh, uh, from, other, from other services and build some other dashboards. But this is kind of hopefully a quick primer for you so you understand Telegraph a little more and can start to use this in your home lab. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and hit that like button. Uh, as always, you can follow me on Twitter uh, and you can go grab this code from our GitHub and it's uh, uh, at github.com slash splitting atom. Uh, I'll have links in the show notes and I uh, appreciate your time. Have a good day. Thanks a lot.